got path number seven finished. It's just this flexi tube right here, which is actually two of them in one. And this one is the longer variety. So it comes out right next to that track. And there's not much to show, but I guess I'll put it from right here. And it goes around. I can show how this is. And I ended up supporting it back in here. And now these are um, thicker. They used to just be a single rod. I said I would change that, but I just now got to it. So with all the pass finished, it's time to start testing and fixing lots of um, little things about it. And those aren't staying there, those um, flags. My brother put those there as a joke. And same with this. Okay, let's fire up the machine. I do admit I have run this once, but this is one of the first times to run it, or the second time. The paths actually work really well, which is what I was hoping for, so that's good. It's really hard to see on the camera because I can only film one side at a time. It's a lot easier to see everything in real life. The main issue I'm having is with this lift because sometimes the ball, yeah, it did that right there. I don't know if I got that on camera, but sometimes the ball will wedge itself in between these two tubings and then it'll take um, another ball coming along and, and push it out for good. And so I really don't want it falling because this is on the outside of the ball machine. I'll probably have to do something like that going all the way up on at least these two outer sides. The main side that has that issue is this side and actually that's the only side I've seen any ball do that on. But I'll probably do that, make it um, have a better wall on this side and that side because those are the out, outside edges. If it falls like on the inside it doesn't really matter as much. But I'll have to keep on keep an eye out and see what happens with it. But other than that, it looks like it's working pretty well. I am going to make an official video of this, so I don't need to really stand here for very long showing it on camera. Just kind of get some views of the other sides here. I really like, um, flexi tubes because they add some sounds to it and of course the trampoline does too one thing I'll probably do with the ferris wheel is add a little track right here that comes up just in case one of them wants to stay in one of those little areas So I guess I'll make some more improvements when I have the time. Right now, spring break is basically over, and so I'll probably have some weekends that I come back and work on it. But by then, I'll have some more improvements made that I'll show on the camera. I've made some more changes, and the most obvious are these panels. I'll cover that in a minute. Some of the less obvious changes have been added a support to the radial maze, so now it's pretty well supported. I think that's good enough. That's the only one I'll need there. 
I've also added this track right here just in case two balls go on the first wheel at the same time. It's kind of a, no ball should ever really need to use that track. If two balls come on at the same time, like this, one of them goes up like that, then back around. And I'm going to have to stop recording because the battery is running out, even though it said it had 30 minutes on it. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So the last thing that I'll show before this paneling right here is I kind of made this a little bit um, thicker with uh, more rods. Because the ball usually lands about right there, so I don't want only one rod to snap off or something. So now that has two rods on each edge, so that's good. So now onto this um, paneling that I put on the lift. So this keeps the balls from coming out of the gap, which is right here between the tubing. And it, I have it on two sides going all the way up. And I haven't seen a ball um, come out of it yet, so that's good. And I don't have it on the insides either, but it doesn't seem to have a problem at that area anyhow. And these blue panels at the bottom are just protection so that people don't want to stick their finger inside of here because you can get it caught if you stick your finger in far enough. So I don't want people dealing with that. And you can easily take it off and kind of maintain it or whatever. I also went ahead and added panels to the rest of the machine. So like right here, mainly orange and red ones, because I have a ton of those, especially the orange. Just kind of added little accents around the towers. Kind of makes it look more interesting. Come over to this side. I also made this support here a little bit better. It used to be nothing right here, so it's just kind of a not good enough support, I guess you could say. And I don't know if I've shown them very much at the top. But I'll be filming and doing the official video here in a minute. So I'll get plenty of shots of that in the future. Sometimes this right here happens, the ball getting stuck there. So I just have to add these white rods where it gets stuck, then it'll prevent that happening. So I suppose it'll be time to film it, then I'll start taking it apart and I'll come back and explain how I'm going to do that. The ball machine is turned off right now, and I just kind of wanted to explain in more detail about why exactly this paneling is on here, and why the balls fall out. So, on the inverted helix lift, in the instructions, this line of tubing and this one is actually a little bit closer together, and that prevents any falling out on that one. So, if anybody builds that one, then you shouldn't need these panels. But if you make it tall like this one, and again, this is six feet tall, this middle helix is actually slightly bent, like that, vertically, because of the just the inaccuracies of connects in general. So that means on the side that it's bowed that way, the ball will not really be able to fit between the two tubings. That's why I had to make them a little bit higher in those areas. And not every corner has that. This one right here, for example, is still the same spacing. So that's probably why I don't need to include panels on that side, and I've never seen any balls fall out, fall out on those two sides. It's just on these ones because I did make these a little bit higher. So just keep that in mind if you ever build a helix lift that is six feet tall. Probably would have been better just to do two smaller ones, but that would have meant two motors, and I just wanted to make it easier. One other thing I added is a light strip on the bottom 
And I don't really know if the museum staff will want to include this because it might be a fire hazard or something, but I just wanted to add it just in case because it looks cool. And let's put it on. There's lots of different settings on this thing. See if I can get it to work. There it goes. So that's just kind of a fade. That's probably my favorite setting. The most, um, or it's the least annoying because there's like strobe light ones and I don't really like that type of thing. Just a nice subtle addition to the bottom. And again, like I said at the very beginning, there's going to be a wall coming up to here going all the way around and so you won't see this outside part, which is a lot brighter. You'll, you'll always see the inside, which looks like that. So that would be cool, but I guess we'll see if they want to keep it or not. So just going, going over how I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to split the machine into two huge sections. And I'm going to split it right here all the way down, so straight down. That means this section over here will be about 26 inches wide and this one a little bit less wide than that. That way I can fit it out my door because my door has a maximum width of like 28 inches or something. And then I'll be laying the ball machine on its side on this side and that side over there. So I'll have to kind of build out a red, about a red rod in order to account for the floor, or uh, not the floor, but this track going around. Because that's the part that's four feet wide. So that's how I will transport it. And I guess I'll have a lot of video clips coming up here of me taking it apart.